Imagine this, your 18 year old mother doesn't feel well. She goes and takes a pregnancy test. She finds out she's pregnant with you and she starts to cry. What if she didn't want to have you? What if abortion wasn't a choice? Why do we have to choose? We have to choose between having a safe sex and having to prevent pregnancy from happening. And we have to take birth control, which does harm on the insides. Or we have to choose to have a baby and at the end of the day either give it up or take care of it for 18 years plus. Why should we have to choose? And why do men get away scotch free? And then we have rules being passed to make us have to keep a baby that we might not be ready for. How are we gonna let a man choose? Why aren't there women up there saying, oh, this is my body, and I know when I was a mother it was hard, or going through pregnancy is rough. The postpartum after your baby's born, to depression, to mood swings, to weight gain, to health complications that could possibly happen, all because we don't have a choice or a voice. Think about this. We all have friends, sisters, cousins, and what if they don't have the money, the health insurance, or the ways to get their baby to have the best life that they want them to have? What if they had a choice? I think that we need to let abortions stay legal in every state, no matter what they feel. No matter what people in Congress feel about what women should do with their body, it's their choice. They live and die by the decisions they make, and what if having a baby is not one for them? There's a statistic that says there was 25 million, if not more, unsafe abortions done across the nation. And that's with a lot of states still having legal abortions. What's next? They legalize abortions being illegal, put women in jail, and then what? They still have to have the babies. We already have overcrowded foster care homes, not enough food on the earth, and we're gonna put women's risks in jeopardy just because of pro-life, but what about their life? Does their life not matter more than the baby's life? There's a stat that says parent, parenthood, Planned Parenthood decided that this year came up on 100 years of their them being free clinic, and they're starting to reach out to more schools because they feel like you having a say in your sex life and if you want to have a baby and your health in general without being judged is something that we should all take into consideration. But if Trump and some Republican states win, where will the voice be for women? We already have to deal with glass ceilings, fighting through stereotypes, and dealing with gender roles that we never let ourselves have to deal with. So why now? Why start with the choices that I can't control about making? This is it. We're having people overturn a decision that happened in 1973, which was supposed to be governed by the fundamental rights. But now our fundamental rights are being challenged and our rights are turning into wrongs. So what are you gonna do about it? Are you gonna look and tell women that they don't have the right to do what they want to do with their body and they have to be a parent? What if your mom didn't want to be a parent? What if she had other aspirations in life? What if I had different aspirations in life if I was pregnant and lived in a state like Texas? Abortion should be legal as long as they're not doing it when the baby is almost full term or near 27 weeks. Other than that, we should have the right. Pause it. We're going to stop.